Are you interested in buying a new construction home and curious about what that Melarus tax is that you keep hearing about? Well, I'm about to tell you so you understand what almost all of these new construction communities are requiring of you nowadays, that you're required to pay on that property tax bill that's already screaming for your money. By the way, I'm Andre, your Cali Valley Realtor, treating your next home purchase like it's my own and consistently providing you value with weekly videos on my YouTube channel that cover the Central Valley, its cities, and its new construction homes for anyone looking to relocate out here. So subscribe if you're interested in learning more because I'm doing all of the research for you so you don't have to. Now, let's do this. Now, homeowners in certain community districts in California are subject to a special tax called a Melarus tax. This tax was created to circumvent legislation that put restrictions on increasing property taxes, and they're set up as a way to have actual communities raise money to help fund community development, like public services, infrastructure, and infrastructure improvements, police and fire departments, schools, parks, roads, utilities, childcare, and more. It just keeps growing. This tax is usually applied to property owners in a certain region or community. It'll be found as a line item on your property tax bill, so it's paid on top of your regular property taxes. These taxes are usually set up to be charged for between 20 to 25 years, but can also last as long as 40 years, and in some rare cases can go on indefinitely. Now, Melarus taxes can also be used for neighborhood development projects in communities outside of the actual community paying the taxes. This happens when the tax money raised in the outside neighborhood doesn't cover its basic services. Now, I bet that makes you happy, huh? Now, these taxes may also change over time and are generally not tax deductible. Just keep that in mind as well. Time out. Did you know this video is just a drop of the great content you'd find on my city websites for those looking to relocate out to the valley? The sites are for the most popular cities out here that teach you all about the city, plus there's tons of first time buyer and recurring buyer information, incentives to save you money on your move out here, and much more. The links are in the description. Do yourself a favor, check them out. Now, Melrose tax communities are typically in new communities, which are considered communities 10 years old and newer. And if you don't pay these taxes, it's just like not paying your property taxes, where liens can be put against your home and potentially having your home foreclosed upon, which is not something you want. Now, another way to think of the Melarus tax is an upgraded airplane seat. In first class, you pay for more space, more leg room, better drinks, etc. Now, think of that in context to moving into a new neighborhood. In this new community, you'll have better schools, nicer roads, well-kept areas, and possibly more police and government services, like fire departments, located in the community. So as a buyer, you have to ask yourself if it's worth it to you to pay that extra Melarus to live in a community with those benefits. Now, if you have a family with kids in schools, it may make more sense for you to move into a community with this tax. But if you're single with no kids and those perks don't matter to you, it wouldn't be worth it. Now, one of the biggest drawbacks of the Melarus tax is the extra cost that homeowners have to carry. Some families and individuals may find it difficult to afford the additional financial burden of this tax on top of their regular property taxes already, so it unfortunately will push some home buyers out of these communities due to the added expense, so it won't be a realistic option for them. So I hope this video helped. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more about Central Valley Cities and its surrounding area. If you got questions or comments, reach out to me. And whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, feel free to hit me up. I'd be happy to help you. Until next time, I will see you in the next video.